To let you get to know the team a little bit better, they were asked a series of questions. And here are their responses. First off, what was your idea of assistive technology before you started with the program? And what is your idea of assistive technology now? So I have been using assistive technology for so long that I have had a good idea of what assistive technology is for quite a long time. So for example, I have been using screen reading technology for about 25 years. I wouldn't at that time though have thought that large print books or books on tape as they say would have been considered assistive technology so I guess that's how my perspective has changed through the years is that I realize that so many things are considered assistive technology right down to really low tech things and certainly there are many high tech things that are available. Um. I was the director of MDRC when we got the assistive technology program grant in 1997. So I've, at that time, there was uh, basically customized uh, supports of various kinds, but the things that were common were ramps and uh, automatic doors and not very personal stuff, more physical access stuff. And one of the big changes is, is that it's become possible to get something that actually solves a specific problem for a specific individual. Before uh, starting at MDRC, I think I thought about assistive technology more in terms of the things that I used in my life, like the power chair or a walker or some sort of uh, shower chair, like things that help with the, the functional issues of daily life. Um, and now that I've been here for 10 years, I, my definition of assistive technology has expanded greatly. And it really, to me, can be anything that can help people live more independently, whether it's a piece of equipment that you get through a durable medical equipment provider or not. It could be something like um, elastic shoelaces or a can opener. My idea of AT before starting this Workroom was electronic devices, but now I believe it is anything that helps with everyday living. So my idea of assistive technology prior to working at Michigan Disability Rights Coalition would have definitely been more of those high-tech um, assistive technology devices. Now realizing that you can do a lot of DIY assistive technology. Um, there can be things just as simple as a stylus to help you um, touch your screen. Um, a lot of simple assistive technology in how many areas of one's life that we can use AT for. Um, I definitely just see how much of a broad scope AT is, and I also look at devices and wonder how we can make that into um, an adaptable tool or even just um, everyday things that we do. I think, like, how can we make this easier, simpler, or more accessible to um, everyone? Before I started at MATP, um, I think the main thing I thought of when I heard of assistive technology was like communication devices and besides that like most of it is like stuff you would find in a hospital um and that is definitely not the case uh, I mean there is assistive technology in the hospital but I think that's also why I love working here is like you get to expand people's knowledge on what is assistive technology and like how it can help you in your everyday life um I always thought AT was uh high-end quality expensive equipment um, and now I realize that it could be something as simple as like bells on top of a fishing pole to make you realize you have a bite. Yeah, I was definitely thinking more spaceships than <laughs> spatulas um, when I first came here. Um, and uh, I, again, I think I said it before, that's just not the case. It can be um, anything um, that helps somebody live their lives and access um, the world. Uh, I really think my idea of assistive technology changed vastly as I've been working here. Um, before I started, 
I really thought it was just basic things like walkers and wheelchairs and I really think that now I understand that it can be any sort of device um, even down to low-tech things that might help you um, cook as I've been working here you really get to learn the vast amount of technology that we have and how we're trying to further that access as a community and as a country. Next, what assistive technology do you use most often? So I have a vision impairment and probably most often, generally speaking, I use screen reading technology, whether that is on my iPhone with voiceover or on my PC which uh, is JAWS screen reading technology. I would say the device that I use the most is my Alexa um, smart speakers. I um, have a mental health disabilities and use it to listen to music that can be calming or validating for my mood. Um, I have anemia and have brain fog and fatigue and use it for timers and reminders for medications and for appointments. Um, I use it for a lot of different things related to my disabilities. I use uh, memory note programs and organizational aids in my work and in my life. They, it just makes the complexity of modern life easier for me. Well, I use cerebral palsy and I'm in a power chair, so I'd have to say my power chair is the assistive technology that I use most often. Um, it's uh, molded and designed for my body, feels like a part of my body to me, I'm, I take pride in it. Uh, I call it the flash because it's red and yellow, so um, I think I would see my power chair. I think the technology I use most often is my mailbox. It's a seven day organizer with openings for morning noon, evening, and night, and helps me keep track of my medicine. My phone definitely is always with me, and I have different um, accessible features on my phone to um, even help with like the way that I push buttons and uh, where I can just kind of navigate everything on my screen. Um, and then that's also connected to my Apple Watch, um, and that's very helpful. And then on a day-to-day -day at work, um, I also use my um, sit-to-stand desk, so my adjustable desk. Um, I sometimes have um, issues with sciatica, so my watch actually reminds me to stand. Um, because if I sit for too long, then my back and everything is just a lot of pain. Um, so then when it's time for me to stand, I can just raise my desk and continue to work instead of having to stop what I'm doing. Probably Google Assistant. First thing when I get up, I ask it the time, the weather, even though I can set up a routine that it does it for me every morning, but I still haven't gotten to that. I use it for everything. I would say my phone, um, specifically Google Maps, and uh, that's probably about it. <laughs> um, I probably use just like everybody, hey Google, a lot when I'm driving. Um, in the winter, um, I have a pair of yak tracks that have changed my life um, and you strap these things onto your boots and it makes it so much easier, you're so much more confident when you're walking um, and that's the first thing I thought of when I thought of you know assistive technology can be high tech or low tech and everything in between. I would say the two things that I use most often are voice assistance from either Siri or Alexa. Um, I'm always asking Siri questions or my Alexa show questions, so I really just love to get quick answers, so I find myself using that technology the most. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part three.